and we're back with part two of Chester Cheetah. Wild Wild Quest. What up, Chester? Just, you know, exploring the USA. Yeah. You know, just gonna make a stop here at uh, Little Shock, Arkansas to Little find Shock. my map. Little Shock, yeah, it's a power plant located in the middle of Arkansas. It's called Little Shock. And you see, I thought it was something else, and it harkens back to a bumper sticker that I saw in the parking lot outside. Where oh. it, it was uh, a finger... Or it's actually a hand, a hand. In, in full the, hand, a full hand doing full doing the shocker. <laughs> oh and this yeah! This is just a bumper sticker on somebody's car. Like, what are you trying to tell people? I'm trying to tell them two in the goo, one in the poo. That's what they're trying to tell them. Uh, uh, replace maybe, that with pink and stink. Maybe they're just a fan of Dane Cook. I believe that's his official logo. It, in 2012. In 2000. That's yeah. his logo. I think so. 2012, the year of our Lord. Yeah. The year of our cheetah. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone hates on Dane Cook because he's bad. And, and no, rightfully okay. so. It's because he's 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 pretty shitty. He's not good. He hey, yells. No, he's okay. Here's the thing: that people that yell their jokes are the worst. I know. <laughs> Why those people are awful. He's okay. Here's the thing: I'm going to say in Dane Cook's defense, uh, I feel like short a lot one. of people don't. <laughs> They're all short. Uh, Sorry, go ahead. I feel like you know, he's got one comic ability that is very very important in in the the annals of of <laughs> the comic shockers comedia. He makes good fart noises. He makes the best <laughs> fart noises I've ever heard. His fart noises are like out of control mm-hmm. good. Great fart noise. And I think, you know what? The fart noise king. That's what they call him. Give him some credit for that. That's not an easy skill to acquire. Can you make a good fart noise? Yeah, let's make all judge, the Judge, let's hear your fart noise right Let's hear now. your fart noise, Judge. I would prefer not to. Do let's that. hear yeah, it. Come, come on. See, it's, you're, too, you're, yeah, not, yep. you're, not, you're not half the man that Dane Cook is. I like when Dane Cook talks about pickles. He says, and the pickles. I'm not familiar with. I'm not right, familiar no. with him doing any farts either. No, I, I just maybe we're learning that he's actually very versatile. Oh, he's a versatile comedian. Can, can I point out that this boss is uh, just the cloud with a mustache and a face, like a muscle cloud? It's a muscle cloud. He's beefy, muscle storm beefy cloud. cloud. He looks like that cool NES Russian mountain guy. Karnov. Karnov. He looks like a lot like Karnov. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that I said muscle mountain guy, and you knew who I was talking about. <laughs> Karnov, of course. Oh, Karnov, yeah, muscle mountain guy. Mm-hmm. Karnov is always on the tip of uh, yep. Diaper Chris's tongue. Yeah, yep. yep. Pretty standard for me. Mm-hmm. Next, we're going to Omaha, Nebraska. I'm, I'm going to you know, give you some facts about Omaha, Nebraska while we're here, because you probably don't know that much about it, do you? Nope. As your guide. Uh, depending on which version of the, the last Let's Play you heard, you may not or may not may may or may not be aware of these facts. Why is the Scarecrow slowly going off the screen? <laughs> That's probably because he's upset because the state nickname used to be the Tree Planter State, but in 1945 they changed it to the Cornhusker State. Ah, uh, bullshit. Whoa. Fucking bullshit. This game is, like, really surreal, because there's, Chester can just, like, float in the air, and the Scarecrow just goes straight up in the there's air. There's, like, a queue in that tree. It's gone now. You know what the else is, is surreal? Spam. Canned meat, which is produced in Fremont, Nebraska, near Omaha. Oh, okay. These facts aren't doing it for me. That's, that's up, uh, oh, <laughs> I thought you'd say that, so I have something for you okay. about Omaha. Great. Fantastic. I had a, a ace up my sleeve. Thank God. Omaha, birthplace of none other than the Reuben Sandwich. Wow. I didn't know that. All right, well, uh, let's, let's, say, let's, no, let's, let's try chat. to tell me let's not about chat. it. Mm-hmm. Reuben Sandwich is a damn good sandwich. Great sandwich. Fan- would, Great sando. Would you put it in your top ten sandos? Top three sandos. No <laughs> way. Is it a top three sando for you? Look at those cows down there. They got those sunglasses. Cool. Oh, cool. So, uh, top three for me. Okay. Oh, this is the part in the game when I discovered that Chester has, like, a, a Samus jump. Like a super jump, I don't know what you call it. The the uh, shine spark. Yeah. Where you charge up and then you can jump super high. Yeah, basically. You have to, like, press, like, down, up, jump. I'm really ashamed of myself for being able to count that, but go ahead. Yeah, no, no, uh, the Ruben. Mm-hmm. Great. How do you feel? Top ten? I, at least, yeah. I'm not willing to, to without some some serious thought and reflection, to to put out a, a list of my uh, <laughs> top one to ten sandwiches. There but it is. I, I'm There's confident. The super oh, I'm confident that it would be in uh, in there. No problem. What would be number one? Well, again, I you know I feel like that's it's a a, a serious topic for serious reflection. I like how the pigs just respond. Yeah, uh, you like a panini. 
Ugh, yeah, I like. I love a panini. I'm very anti panini. Well, you, you don't like you pro just, Ruben anti panini. You don't like Whoa. a hot. You don't like a hot grilled sandwich. I've never had a single good panini, in my whole what life. What the fuck? Is, what kind of where? What, you, what kind of paninis are you eating? I'm going to <laughs> and getting paninis. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no, 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 let's say that's where we are. That's, no, <laughs> fuck. You're giving away all of our locales. Better censor that in post. Yeah. No, but, like, so, the, the, he's got a tractor. The paninis from aren't actual paninis. That's the thing that's... Oh. Yeah. Mm. They're, that's just, like, a sandwich. I think the, the paninis are pretty good, all things being evil, but they're not, like, real. It's not like a... You gotta get, like, the press... Wait. The panini, you know what I'm talking about. How, how long do you think it me, took to me, code them this boss? Like, this boss five is seconds? great. It is me and Eugene on a John Deere tractor throwing bombs. This is, this is Let where, that sink in. This is where ethnicity ha- comes into play, because uh, me, me, and, me and Diaper Chris, both Italian gents, mm-hmm. we know, hey, we know a real panini. We I'm, know a real I'm, panini. I'm 25% Italian, too. So. That's not <laughs> real Italian. You're like the Jersey Shore Italian Yeah, people. It's true. I do spike my hair. So, you know... No, you know that the panini is from not. It's just a sando. Oh, not- he's on a... He's going to this place on a... Oh, he, he's going to a wallop? Wall up? Uh, New Mexico? And in case you're wondering, uh, wallop, New Mexico is the most populous city between Flagstaff, Arizona and Albuquerque. Oh, well, great. So there are, what, seven people there? <laughs> that is my only fact about wallop, New Mexico. <laughs> Great facts. Yeah, that's good. good that's fact. why they come here. For the they, monkeys on the skateboards and, and the, the facts. <laughs> they come Wait. out of groundhog holes. I thought the monkey last time was your friend. Now that the monkey is a bad guy. A lot has changed between Too Cool to Fool and Wild Wild Quest. Apparently the frame rate is a monkey. I was going to say, this frame rate is not so hot. Listen, there's a lot going on in Wall Up, New Mexico. <laughs> When you get hurt, you know, you eat the, the Cheetos. The medicinal Cheetos. If nothing else, the animations are still... Uh, they, they tickle my funny bone. So, yeah. let's 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 talk. Um, what do we like better? Do we like this, or do we like the original Chester Cheetah? The ori- oh, he... Whoa! Oh, hey, God, I missed guy. it. There it is. I missed it. Chester comes alive, part two. <laughs> Chester... And it did nothing what? to the cactus. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> But you you were blinky for a while, so I'm sure that was good. Did the cactus just like go away? Like, oh fuck this! <laughs> get out! I'm get out of here. <laughs> he got bored and left. Like I, our audience. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna or, say uh, I think I like the original Chester better than I this. do too. I mean, this, this is, like this you is can like, say this is more polished. This is this, this is seems very overproduced. It's overwrought, yeah. Yeah, and then, <laughs> yeah, over, a, no overwrought, no overproduced, <laughs> yes. Overproduced by one producer and director, if you recall from yeah. the beginning. It's One just, man's single vision it's like, was realized with this game. Let's just give the enemy, yeah. Let's just give Chester like a lot of animations, like a lot of, oh, lot of nobody notices. A lot of colorful, a lot of colorful enemies. Thirty second long levels. Good, good plan. Fantastic plan. Let's put some sunglasses on all the inanimate objects. <laughs> uh, like you're right. When They're you're in right. the desert. They need sunglasses. So you would think he's in Roswell, right? Because it's like a UFO. I mean, Eugene's in, mm-hmm. but no, he's in Wall Up. Yeah, I don't know what these people are doing. What, what, what is what is Wallop a parody even of? I don't. I honestly don't know. Uh, from what I can gather, uh, Gallup. Okay, is that a place? I think so. Okay. I went to Google Maps and I put in New Mexico. <laughs> okay. I looked at all the cities. I'm like, that one looks like it matches. Now that you bring up the Roswell thing, they missed a really easy win with this because you know they go like, oh, not so great falls. How about Ros bad? <laughs> ah, right. ah. Hey, and then you would have the connection. Unclear water, not-, not so great falls. Yeah. Ros bad. Come on. Ros and Rachel. <laughs> Just this was the fun. 90s. They missed so a really easy one with Ross and Rachel. The pinnacle of the 90s. Let's just with that talk one. about Friends. Fuck this game. I see your What's map. What's your favorite is... episode of Friends? <laughs> your map is slowly coming oh, together. Yeah, I feel like you could piece together it. Like, like Chester couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Again, point. Chester's home city is Hip City. Oh my God. How do you not know how to get back to your home? <laughs> they have Aurora Borealis in the back. Judge is eating this up. He loves Judge, Judge, I love when games have Aurora Borealis. Judge I don't know is, what it is. He's got an Aurora Judge Borealis is, fetish. Aurora Bore Boner, am I uh, right? Yeah. The Northern Boner. <laughs> Ironically, it faces south. <laughs> so Listen, we're in Numb. It's a disorder. Numb, uh, okay. Alaska. I get that parody. Okay. 
Uh, you know, the state of Rhode Island could fit in Alaska 425 times. That's really more a fact about Rhode Island. Yeah, Chester's playing the guitar here, and that reminds me of a s famous guitarist from Alaska. Yeah. Uh, professional musician known as Jewel. Oh! An American singer-songwriter, uh, guitarist, producer, actress, and poet. She received four Grammy Award nominations and has sold over 27 million albums worldwide. Oh. Jewel's really? debut album, Pieces of You, released in February 28, 1995, became one of the best-selling debut albums of all time, going 15 times platinum. What do you think of that? I One single from the album, Who Will Save Your Soul, peaked at number 11 on the Billboard Hot 100. Two others, You Were Meant For Me and Foolish Games, reached number 2 and 7, respectively, on the top 100. Who is that? And were listed as Billboard's 1997 year-end singles charts. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't Jewel discovered by like a 90s actor? Yeah, I think so. It's probably <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Isn't it you, Armored Wahlberg? It's Mark Wahlberg. I want to say it was someone from Friends because I wanted to talk no, about it. No, it was Mark Wahlberg. I, I like the episode, and to answer your question, I like the episode where they have to fit the uh, couch in the uh, stairwell. Great app. And he's like, oh, pivot. There oh, he's Mean Eugene the was in there the whole time! Oh my god. Typical Mean Eugene. Okay, so why was the fat tourist, like, actually a fat tourist, but everything Everyone else was Mean Eugene? Mean Eugene. Mean Eugene. Yeah. Again, commentary. Is that his wife? Commentary on America. Is that Mean, <laughs> mean Eugene's wife? Mean Eugene's She's wife was the fat woman? Like how Bubba the Lunch, Lunch's wife tricked Hulk Hogan? <laughs> <laughs> so Bubba can get a story. Uh, Hulk Hogan's sex tape. C minus overall. I watched it. The reviews are in. Uh, so uh, I disagree. Uh, you know what? Let's talk. Let's real talk. Hulk Hogan sex tape. Uh, he has sex with a woman on a canopy bed. Let's just talk about that for a second. <laughs> the Let's talk about that for a second. Love the canopy bed. Look, there is a lot of really funny things going on in the Hulk Hogan sex tape. I think funniest of which is Hulk Hogan having sex on a canopy bed. He's like, I ate so much. That's what he says at the that, end. That part's funny. Can that I... part's good. It's no canopy bed. Oh, my God. For the record, I need to point this out. We're in California. Yeah. We're in Quakersfield, California. <laughs> okay. Where there's been a devastating earthquake in 1952. Insensitive. Wow. 12 Ins people died in this earthquake. Insensitive. $50 million dollars in damage. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is that today's dollars or back then dollars? You don't Today's even know, numbers. do you? I don't. You're you know, lying. <laughs> You're also lying in Quakersfield, California, there was a street called Chester Avenue. Oh! Wow. Wow. It was meant to be. So here's a list of the 12 people that died in the Quakersfield earthquake. R.I.P. Who would care? I care. <laughs> Who would care? Their families, you insensitive <laughs> asshole. It was the 50s. They're all dead. Well, look at this robot. <laughs> it's throwing. <laughs> the first person that died. John Montgomery. No, not Montgomery? Montgomery? Danny Railroad Spike Smith. <laughs> this sounds like John Hodgman's list of hobo names. Flo Smith, Lil Timmy Smith, Lil Tommy Smith, Little Johnny Smith, aka the Box Carpet. <laughs> they got all the they got all the Smiths. Fred 710 Split Jones. <laughs> and his wife, Peggy Ninepins Jones. And Fred's mistress, Ball Return Patty. How am I doing, guys? Judge is so angry. <laughs> He's so These are my favorite parts in the LP. This is basically what I do this for. Is if we can get Judge angry on every single LP that we do, I feel like our I don't I don't care if we get zero. Shut up views. for a minute and look at what this is. <laughs> <laughs> look at, oh my god. All right. Where do I begin? <laughs> so you had to go to North <laughs> Carolina. It's over. So you had to go to North and that's Carolina. How quick, that's how quick Judge's emotions can turn. That's how quick his emotions can turn. Because he was in... He, he was furious. Not not but a quarter second ago. Mm -hmm. He was... And, he was Steam was shooting out of his ears. I'm bo I'm uh, bipolar. And now just absolutely enraptured with joy. Uh, Seeing me and Eugene race uh, Chester for the trophy yeah. so Chester can get to Hip City. Now, uh, uh -oh. Two oh, you're behind him! Uh-oh! True story, I actually did this for like 20 minutes before I figured out you actually have to jump on him because I thought I wasn't hurting him. It took so many hits. I was about to question whether or not this is like Chrono Trigger and you just had to like get ahead of him until the last second. Like the race with Johnny, mm -hmm. the robot man. Mm -hmm. Help goal. CG Judge. And you win the Cheeto trophy. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know why. That was Final Fantasy. That was Final Fantasy. Yeah, that was, that was Chester. Get Chester. out of here with that Sorry. weak sauce. It. That's it. Chester won the trophy. He's going to go, uh, you know, smoke all the Cheeto dust. He's completed the map to Hip City. <laughs> oh, so. Go. Also, uh, that's Oh, it's just over the river there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I figured Great it out. Great map. I don't think maps work that way. Yo, mean Eugene. Sorry, I'm not going to read. Dearest mean Eugene. People read slow. My then. dear mean Eugene. This war is hell. We've already made that joke before your time. Really? Really. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, yeah, we did do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eat Sorry. my dust. Look, Civil War letters are fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They Just are. like fake names of people who died in an earthquake. Right. Right, Judge? Needed more Pennsylvania Steve. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Why would somebody <laughs> named Pennsylvania Steve live in Quakersfield? Exactly. Oh, well, eh? <laughs> Quakersfield, right? Because people don't emigrate. Because no, 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 no. of Quakers. Yeah, the, the Pennsylvania mm -hmm. full the of Quaker Quakers. State. The Quaker State. The Quaker State, yeah. If you're going to go to Quakersfield, it's founded by Pennsylvania Steve. That was it? That was the final boss? It's like, ooh, wow. Wow, well, what a uh, bad one. Oof. Oof. Let's Oof. just... B minus. I was gonna say grades. Uh, B minus. I'm gonna go C minus. Nah, yeah, C minus. Really D plus. Probably. C minus. D plus. C minus is fair. Yeah, that's fair. I'm gonna rate it a Hulk Hogan sex tape. 